Hi, lovely friends. How are you guys? Um, today we are going to finish up what we started yesterday, which is nine days to Christmas, which I think I put the wrong title on there by accident, but it's definitely nine days to Christmas. I'll fix that. Okay. We left off and Ceci was going to the market with her mom, right? So let's see the pinatas that Ceci is looking at. And since her mother had stopped to buy candles and other things, Ceci went on nearer and nearer the piñatas. There were hundreds of them. Enormous piñatas, big piñatas, and little piñatas. And as Ceci entered the world of the piñatas, they all came to life, and they greeted her. Welcome, welcome, little girl, they said. Do you want to know us better? And they turned this way and that so she could see them from all sides. Why don't you hang your doll up here with us, said a gay parrot. That doll would enjoy dancing in the wind before she's broken. Broken, oh no, said Ceci, holding Gabina close. This is a real doll, not a piñata. And she has to hold Gabina close. She doesn't want her to break. There's the parrot. That silly parrot. What are you doing here, little girl, all by yourself, asked a wise owl. I am choosing one of you for my first posada, said Ceci. Now, when the other piñatas heard this, they all started calling to her, asking her to choose them. For wonderful things often happen to piñatas chosen by little girls for their first posadas. That was because the little girls loved them. Take me, said one. I am little and you can carry me better. Take me, said an elephant. I am big and can hold more fruit. Baha ba said a lamb take me i am soft and white and have a nice bell you can keep for yourself when i am broken Ceci didn't know which one to choose so she went on suddenly she stopped for there above the other pinatas was a big shining gold star oh said Ceci, you are the most beautiful pinata in the whole world but the star said nothing it just kept shining and turning for her to see. Sassy called her mother, you've gone too far, wait for me. Beautiful golden star. Do you think she's going to choose that one? Now when Sassy's mother came near, all the piñatas were hanging in silence again. And Sassy could hear the voices of many people selling and buying things for the Christmas posadas. Which piñata do you want, Ceci? said, asked her mother. Have you decided? Ceci looked back at the other piñatas. She loved them all, but she could only have one. So she pointed to the star. Oh, what a beautiful one, Ceci, said her mother. It's the star that showed the wise men where to find the baby Jesus. So they bought the big star and carried it home in a taxi. What a beautiful piñata indeed. What kind of piñata would you choose for your posada? Would you choose the elephant or the owl? I don't know which one I'd choose. They're all so beautiful. And the next day, when Ceci woke up, she didn't have to ask. She knew. It was the day she had been waiting for, the day of her posada. Early in the morning, her mother and Maria filled corn husks with sweet corn flour pudding mixed with raisins and packed them into kettles to steam. They colored fruit juice with bright red flowers in the market, from the market. Ceci was helping them fill little toys with candy when her father called from the patio that he and Salvador were almost ready for the piñata. Her father was holding the ladder and Salvador was stretching ropes between two trees in the patio. So Maria got the piñata and hung it between the two chairs in the kitchen and Ceci filled it all by herself. She put in big juicy oranges and tiny sweet lemons and peanuts and candies wrapped in pretty papers and red and white sugar candy canes. And when she went and then she went and watched her father and Salvador while they tied the piñata. Then she went and watched while her father and Salvador tied the filled piñata to the rope in the patio and took it and pulled it way up into the air. Look, Ceci, said Salvador, Salvador putting on the end of the rope that hung down by the jacaranda, jacaranda, tree, jacaranda. There she is filling her sweet piñata. 
aren't those so many fun things that she's putting inside? Oranges and lemons and peanuts. What would you fill your pinata with? I would put stars in mine. This is the way we will pull your pinata up and down to fool the children when they are blindfolded and trying to hit it. But I don't want them to hit it, said Sussy. I don't want anyone to break my pinata. What kind of posada would it be if no one breaks a pinata? Salvador laughed. Pinatas are made to be broken. They're made to be broken. Ooh. Soon after dark, when all the guests had arrived, Ceci, who had dressed in her village costume, because she liked that better than the other clothes, and her cousin Manuel led the procession, which starts every posada. Carrying Joseph and Mary and the donkey, they walked slowly around the patio, and everyone else followed with light of candles, singing the song of the Holy Pilgrims. You guys know what a pilgrim is? Yeah, pause this. Look it up. Think about the Mayflower. Pilgrims are people that travel to new places. Got one more big paragraph. Here we go. Soon they came to a closed door at the side of the house, and Ceci went up and knocked. At first, the people behind the door sang back, No, there's no room in the inn. But in the end, the door was opened, and everyone sang, Come in, holy pilgrims. So Ceci and Manuel went in and left Joseph and Mary and the donkey on a table. Then they ran back out to the patio. Now the other children started shouting and singing, Go on, Ceci, don't delay. Bring the toys of candy on a tray. So Ceci and her mother and Maria passed the big trays and gave everyone a toy filled with candy. Ceci's piñata in the middle of the patio shone like a real star over their heads as the children ran from one side to the other, shooting firecrackers and waving sparklers. I don't want gold. They began to sing, I don't want silver. What I want is to break the piñata. So Salvador brought out a long club and a big handkerchief and asked Aunt Matilda and Uncle Pepe to blindfold the children and whirl them around while he held the rope by the tree to pull the piñata up and down. Then there was great excitement, for everyone wanted to be the first to try to break the piñata. And thus begins the posada. The small children just hit the air and made everyone laugh. But the older ones started hitting the piñata. Blindfold Ceci, called Manuel. You try, Ceci. It's fun. But Ceci wouldn't try or watch. She went and stood behind the tree near Salvador. Don't let them hit it, she said. Don't let them break my piñata. But Salvador, laughing with the others, paid no attention to her. Suddenly, there was a crash. There came shouting and the sound of children scrambling over one another as they tried to grab the good things that were rolling around on the ground. They've broken it, thought Ceci, but she didn't move or look. She just stood there. She just stood there, listening. And as she listened, she heard a voice up in the branches whispering, Ceci, Ceci. And there, just above the tree, was the brightest star she'd ever seen. Don't cry, Ceci. No lloras, it whispered. Look, because a little girl chose me for her first posada. I'm a real star now. And as Ceci watched, the star flew up into the sky. No one can ever break it now, she thought, and it will always be mine, mine and Gabina's. Suddenly, Ceci disappeared around the corner of the house. A minute later, she was back with Gabina in her arms. Look, Gabina, she said, they couldn't break it because it was real. They only broke the pot inside. And we... And we have given the world a new star for Christmas. Our star, Gabina. Can you see how it's blinking just at us? And Gabina looked, and she nodded her head three times.
and that is the end. Oops. There is the end. The end of nine days to Christmas. Not before Christmas. What was Monica thinking? So that is our rendition of nine days to Christmas. We are going to have a surprise tomorrow. You guys will see. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye, guys.